Wow, it's an awesome day here at YK Elementary School. I mean, the place is full of students and there are a lot of parents and a lot of teachers. And man, I, hey, um, we have the teacher, fourth grade teacher, Miss uh, Kari Morimoto. So uh, what's going on here? We're having a fourth grade mini society where the kids work really hard all year and they get to earn money and they spend it here. So like, who makes all of this uh, gear? I see fishing boots, I see uh, you having some uh, snow cones or whatever, uh, hot dogs. I mean, how, how do they earn the money? They earn it by being responsible, getting good grades, and what else? Um, we do, good. yeah, and we have tests. And that's wow! This is an awesome event. So, who makes all of these um all of these uh, prizes? Who? Us. Who? Us. So, what, what did you make? I made um magnet pops. It's lollipops and magnets. Like there's base. I made baseballs, butterflies, footballs, and cupcakes. And what? You made a lot of money. Yeah. So one woman. She bought the whole thing, so. Wow! I'm sold out. Wow, oh, this is awesome. I tell you, this is another great program here at YK Elementary School. Fantastic school, got community involvement, and they're teaching all of these students here real life skill. Awesome. Miss Marmora, awesome. Great faculty. Great school. <laughs>awesome job here and um so um you want to say anything out there yeah thank you for all the parents support and helping their child make this uh, event such a great opportunity for the students but more so you know what i mean? i want to thank all of your teachers and the faculty and everybody here the cafeteria the, the, all, all the support staff man you know you guys do an awesome job here at YK elementary school putting on events like this because i know it's not easy so Thank you so very much. Thank you, and thank you for KTA for supporting us through all these years.
Yes, hurry down to KTA where your summer special limited with Kraft and Oscar Mayer products right on sale at KTA. Come on, right on. Welcome to this month's edition of Science is Fun. Dale Olive, science teacher here at Waikiki High School. Yeah, we're working during the summer, but so are these fantastic students. Not only the ones taking uh, this summer robotics camp, but the ones teaching it as well. This is our eighth annual high road. We've been doing this for eight years. Uh, Hawaii Island Robotics Academy. We've got 72 students um, learning how to program robots. Uh, this morning class right now is doing NXTs, and uh, the other little advanced class is doing something called VEX Robotics. We're teaching uh, fifth, fourth, and fifth graders how to do VEX robotics. It's a, it's a, um, it's a medium level robotics program where they basically get to build a system out of a kit of pre-made parts. But the thing is, the sky's the limit. I mean, there's like about eight or nine different metal pieces, but then the things you can build with it are really infinite. Um, the game changes every year. We invented our own simple game for this, um, where it involves balls. They have to pick up the balls and put them in um, high goals. It's very simple, but really, when you look at the strategy, it's very, um, it, it pretty much, it's, it's very involved the more you understand. So it's a good program for these young kids because they can see the strategy part of it with the mechanical side of it. It really teaches real world problem solving skills. Right. Yeah, so, because back, backwards is our floor. Right. So, touch sensor is... There. Fantastic program. The kids are learning from the older students. Um, and what's funny is so many of the older students were once the younger ones here at Hira, so we've got it going full circle here. Um, and it's a win-win for us here at Waikia. A lot of these students will be coming to robotic programs, not just ours, but other programs around the state. And uh, maybe that's why the Big Island has such good, powerful robotic teams, is uh, programs like this and other ones at Hilo High School where they teach the kids about robots. And I really think that's why we have an advantage when we go to these contests. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and see how much fun science can be. And uh, we'll see you next month on Science is Fun. All right? Aloha. It's summer and we're bringing along Farmer John. Farmer John! And smoked sausage. Hot dog! Get your Farmer John on set at KTA. Heat the air.
Wow, at KTA, we have the most outstanding, friendly people. We have Laurie here, assistant supervisor at the pharmacy. Friendly, are you, eh? Yes, very friendly. And what, service you'd want? With a, a smile. smile. Yeah, exactly. I tell you what, man. Hey, so maybe you can tell them what do we get on sale this month in August? This month in August, we have Frank Foods Dinner Franks on sale. And what else we have? And we have Magnum ice cream bars. You see? Eh? You're like, give Magnum service, Magnum oh, girl, Magnum yes. everything. Magnum, and ice, Magnum cream. ice cream. Bars. <laughs> hey, Laurie, it's awesome. So, hey, a lot of things on sale. And by the way, our pharmacy is an excellent place. Great service, right? Yes, always great service. Yeah, yeah. Even if you want to know where the Magnum ice cream is, they're going to help you. I can you. show you yeah, where that is. Exactly. Okay. Come on, tell everybody. Aloha. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The Hilo and Waikiaki clubs belong to Division 22 Makai, which includes all of the Hawaiian Island key clubs except Oahu. Statewide Chairman Jennifer Taniguchi reports that this year, each month, Division 22 Makai consists of eight clubs who focus on a specific cause. This summer, the division focused on recycling and environmental impact. Hilo and Waikiaki clubs need their recycling duty to help the public recycle items at the Hilo Transfer Station. An outstanding project from Maui High School Key Club was their Waihe Ridge Trail Watershed Project. The Maui Key Clubbers had to hike about six hours in order to do their project. During the project, they spent three hours cutting over 600 strawberry guava trees that cause danger to the native forests. So from the Key Club members, Division 22, Makai want to remind all of you, to make Hawaii a better place, we need to recycle and protect our environment. Because Hawaii is a beautiful place and it takes everyone to keep it beautiful.